for the ideal setting for exchanging vows? Set your eyes on Marriage Island, site of about 225 weddings a year. Heart-shaped and situated in the center of the San Antonio River, there is no more romantic venue to say, I do. I know somebody on this set who might be in the market for such a locale. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage Island in San Antonio, it's final four. Now the final four, that has to be a final two when you get to Marriage Island and then, then the four comes later. I'm Speaking, learning. You're never sure how final, though. <laughs> we, we can all hope. Here's a marriage that we hope lasts for quite some time. Chris Mack, the new head coach at Louisville, greeted by Denny Crum, the longtime coach there. Mack, of course, had a splendid run at Xavier, the winningest head coach in Musketeer history with 215 wins. Chris, nice enough to join us on the set here. Thanks Chris, for having me. Why was the move to Louisville the right one for you? Well, I think a lot of factors. Uh, probably no more than, you know, it's in uh, the best basketball conference in America, in my opinion. Uh, you know, obviously the tradition that Louisville's had winning national championships and multiple Final Fours. And then selfishly for me in the breadbasket that I've recruited in for the last however many years, 14 years, both as an assistant and as a head coach, I just felt like it was too good of an opportunity uh, for me to pass up. How, how much did the, the ancillary matters, the FBI probe, the other troubles that Louisville's had, how, how did that weigh into your decision and what made you comfortable with it? Sure, it, it weighed into it, uh, but at the same time, if I felt like it was an impossibility uh, to get it done over time, I wouldn't have taken the, uh, the job. And, uh, you know, I think, as I said before, the tradition that Louisville has, um, you know, is something that was very, very attracting to me. Um, and it may take a little bit of a time to sort of get past this, but uh, my job isn't to look, look backward and talk about all the, the problems that, that Louisville's had. It's more to look forward, and uh, I couldn't be more excited to do that. Chris, your first message when, you know, the first time you meet your new team, what was your message to them? moving forward yeah it's it's and you've done this before yeah. but you get 45 minutes or so before a press conference and uh, it wasn't about let's let's start talking about my phil, you know philosophy and how we're going to defend ball screens right. you know it, it was more of I chose you guys and I think so much so often when a head coach takes over it becomes uh, coach Patino's guys versus coach Max guys when he gets the guys in that he's recruiting then things are going to change and it wasn't about that I wanted the, the players at Louisville to know uh, I chose them uh, for a reason. Half of them didn't choose me out of high school because <laughs> we recruited against Louisville when I was at Xavier. So I uh, came up on the short end of the stick a lot. But I, I wanted those guys to understand that's why I'm there because I believe in the place. Uh, I believe that we can win a national championship there. Chris, take me through the series that happens once you take the job. I mean, it's only been Saturday. and I feel like it's been a whirlwind for you. But so it happens Wednesday. Where are the first initial things you do? Um, you, you do them all at the same time. You know, mm -hmm. whether it's, uh, again, I think the most important thing I can do is make sure that the current players at Louisville uh, feel, feel very comfortable about the vision that I have for them uh, and our program. And that means not only talking to each of the players, but their families, uh, the coaches. Um, and you only have one phone, you only have one mm -hmm. voice, so it's, it, it takes a while. Uh, some of them may have to be in person. And then certainly securing a staff. Uh, a coaching staff and, and, and a support staff that uh, can help me with that vision. And then you're always recruiting, and uh, that never stops. You know, Chris, you're, you're going toward a, an amazing opportunity at Louisville, and you've mentioned the reasons why, but you're also leaving a place that's been a part of you yeah. and, and a, a part of your development from the time you were a teenager. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what's it like emotionally for you to make that decision? You know, it's very difficult. You know, in today's day and age with Twitter, uh, some of the ats that you get uh, from people that, that loved you a few days before, and, and I get it. I understand. Uh, but, you know, I gave two ACLs, a patella tendon, uh, a lot of hard years, uh, a lot of years that, uh, you know, were very memorable, the best of my life, both as an assistant coach, director of operations, and a head coach. But for me, it was time. You know, it was time to... to, to do this next challenge and it's a great one I'm excited about it but Xavier's always going to be you know right here and uh, that that's never going to change and uh, you know I, I wish the best for those guys Travis Steele just be, you yep. know just got announced as the head coach and which makes me awfully excited because he was a part of you know why I had this opportunity at Louisville and he's going to do an awesome job at Xavier.
And Xavier won the Big East regular season championship last year. And Chris, few people know uh, the difficulties of dealing with Villanova better than you. Oh, we thanks. I appreciate you telling me that on the set. <laughs> I, did, I keep getting I was, reminded of that I over did, and over, Reese. I wasn't bringing that part of it up. But I what love I was the fire. In, I love terms the fire. Of, in terms of what Kansas is going to face today, what is it about Villanova that maybe you might realize intellectually by watching the film, but you don't really understand how difficult it is until you play it. You know, it's interesting. I, first of all, I don't have the perspective that you guys do on Kansas, Loyola, Michigan. You know, I'm so... Uh